Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make three different versions of homemade energy bars that are very close to store-bought Lara bars. And at the end of the video, Tanner and I will compare them. Let's start with apple pie Lara bars. The base of almost all Lara bars, except for a few, consists of almonds and dates. So the first step in making these energy bars is to add almonds into a food processor and process them into a coarse meal. The next ingredient is walnuts. Add them into the food processor and process them together with the almonds. Almonds are a hard nut and take longer to break down than walnuts, which are a soft nut. If you like a lot of texture in your energy bars, pulse the walnuts just a few times so they are roughly chopped instead of coarsely ground. The last few ingredients are dates. I'm using medjool dates, which are a fresh fruit. If you're using dried dates, soak them first so they become juicy and soften up. Dried apples, raisins, and cinnamon. Process all the ingredients until the mixture begins to stick together. If you don't process the ingredients enough, the mixture will not form bars. If you process the ingredients too much, the mixture will become oily as the nuts begin to turn into nut butter. Transfer the mixture into a parchment paper lined baking dish and press it into an even layer. Unfortunately, I ran out of parchment paper and it was tough getting the bars out of the dish. Also, another option, ideal if you don't have parchment paper, is to process the mixture slightly more until it begins to clump together in the food processor and then shape it into a block, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Lara bars are about half an inch thick, so that's what I usually go for. Let the mixture chill in the freezer for at least 20 minutes so it firms up and then slice it into individual bars. You can also dehydrate the bars if you like firmer and drier bars. We'll talk more about this in the taste test. Alright, now onto the second type of energy bars, pecan pie Lara bars. The first couple of steps are the same. Add almonds into a food processor and process them into a coarse meal. Next are pecans. Again, add them into the food processor and process them either into a coarse meal or just pulse them a few times for more texture. The last ingredient is medjool dates. Process all the ingredients until the mixture begins to stick together. If at any point you think that the mixture is not sticky enough, when you're pressing it or shaping it, you can always put it back into the food processor. The more you make these bars, the more familiar you will get with the right texture. 
Also, I use the exact same ingredients the specific Lara bars contain, but the bars are very flexible and you can use any nuts and dried fruit as long as you keep the ratio of ingredients the same. Finally, the third type of energy bars, cherry pie Lara bars. So again, process the almonds, add the dates and finally add dried cherries. Process all the ingredients, shape the mixture into a block, chill it for a few minutes and slice it into individual bars. And that's it, homemade Laura bars. I have gotten so many requests for more taste tests with Tanner. So here we have another one, this time for homemade Lara bars. And Tanner is very familiar with Lara bars because I make them at home all the time. We also buy them in the store because I couldn't possibly keep up with my kids' consumption. And so your job, Tanner, is to tell us which one of these flavors is the best and how these homemade Lara bars compare to the store-bought ones. They're better than the store-bought ones, to say it first. Like, the store-bought ones can dry out on the shelf really quickly, whereas anything fresh and homemade is going to taste better. So this has a really delicious soft bite. It's like, picture a Mars bar mixed with an Eat More bar in terms of texture. It's like that. It's just that smooth, delicious, chewy texture. So that's great. The dates and the almonds are working together perfectly in that way. The flavors, I'm leaning towards the apple. It's really mellow, it's apple cinnamon flavor. So I like that, but the cherry's really good. The pecan's really good. They're very powerful though. So the cherry is very on the front of your palate, sour, sweet combo, and really like bang, really you can tell it's there. And then the pecan is like, it just keeps going. Like even after you've swallowed, it's still got that really sweet, um, residual flavor. So depending on what you're after, those are your options here. I really like the apple one. I think that you're really going to enjoy this, like very fun to eat. The texture to chew on is delightful. So give it a try. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.